this is a video um, of my day paddling from Crosskirk uh, on the north coast and paddling past Brimsness and then round Holborn Head into Thurso Bay and then round into Dunnet Bay and then finishing at Dwarwick Pier uh, just before Dunnet Head. Um, it was a particularly challenging day I would say uh, as hopefully you'll see. Um, the swell that day I think was around about three meters so it was a huge Atlantic swell and uh, I think it turned out to be one of the most challenging days of my whole trip. So uh, I thought I'd put it together, this film together and um, hopefully you enjoy it. It's quite a long film I'm afraid. Um, I thought about editing it down but uh, decided to to leave it pretty full as it is and I hope you get a good feel for uh, the atmosphere <laughs> that I enjoyed that day and um, yeah so here we go then.
arrived at uh, a point called Brim's Nest and um, here there are reefs that stretch hundreds of meters out into the sea and there's a huge huge swell today um, biggest that I've paddled in so far on the north coast and uh, they're breaking over these reefs you know in a magnificent way <laughs> if I was a surfer they would be just what I would want I guess but as the kayaker trying to get past and get through them they're scaring the shit out of me to be honest so I am way out from the coast and I'm probably about a kilometre off the coast at the moment and uh, ahead of me I can see breakers I can't see the reefs but I can just see the the waves rising up and then breaking with thunder onto them. The tide is pushing me along nicely. Uh, there's done it ahead, done it head ahead. Um, but I want to get into Surto Bay, which is before done it head. And I don't want to, you know, stay too far from the shore to be honest because uh, you know I need to get myself into <laughs> into Surso Bay but right now there's no way I can get through these uh, these reefs because I have no idea um, where they are and um, you know it just be my luck to think I'm picking my way through safely and then all of a sudden a bigger the normal swell comes through and is a reef that uh, up until then had been hidden. So the wisest course of action is just to continue on my course and uh, as soon as I'm clear of the reef, head in to the shore. So I won't be able to get much closer. See, look down there, there's the reef. And I'm very, very close. I need to do that. That's deepening rather alarmingly. So, um, yeah, gosh, <laughs> I don't want to be anywhere near that. Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> rather an exciting beginning to my day. It's only just, uh, only just launched. Thankfully, the wind is light. So, um, not that to contend with. Oh, you know this uh, this nervousness I feel. Yeah, it's good for me in a way, although it's discomforting. I. Uh, Yeah, sometimes I get a little bit complacent about my paddling and um, I'm now in a bit of a tide stream, uh, tide race. I get complacent about my paddling and um, uh, you know, forget the, the power of the ocean. And then coming here and seeing what I'm seeing and experiencing what I'm experiencing reminds me to be on my toes and cautious and be respectful I think that's the main thing not to be blase and happy-go-lucky uh, it's still good to have fun I think to be playful but there are times when I have to be seen for serious and uh, today is one of those days or certainly this morning any breakers now so I'm beginning to head in be very careful <laughs> um, 
amazing cave uh, and a Holborn head but I'm not sure I'll be able to um, get into it today looking at the uh, the base of the cliff over at Holborn head there's a faint haze of rhine laden air so I think the swell is beating mercilessly against the cliffs I'll just have to admire it from afar well I think I'm around Brim's Nest the uh, thunder of the waves is receding <laughs> oh, I made my yeah, I made my butterflies flap extra hard this morning. Yeah, going like clappers. Oh, this kayak is the best. She's so incredibly seaworthy. You know, I've no qualms about taking her out into big seas. You know, I don't need to worry about capsizing, really, because of the kayak. You know, I'm not having to second guess whether she's uh, going to tip or not which means I can uh, you know, concentrate all my energy and attention onto the conditions and picking the right line and yeah just paddling and enjoying it really uh, it's absolutely magnificent this absolutely magnificent this whole journey, you know, to be out here and to be making decisions like that out there and, you know, that are crucial, but also enjoying the moment, you know, noticing that there's, there's something to be gained despite the, the challenge, you know, that, uh, that it is awesome as well. I mean, just to see those, those waves and then crashing and to hear them and to listen to them and to know that that swell has come thousands of miles across the Atlantic so today once I'm in Thurso Bay I'll paddle round into Dunnet Bay and make camp there somewhere set myself up for a rounding Dunnet Head tomorrow and then I've got the Merry Men of May, which is a big tide race. And I'm into the Pentland Firth proper, as soon as I'm around Dunnet Head properly. So, um, just coming off spring tides now, so the uh, strength of the tide should weaken every day. Hey, well, another day of sea kayaking. Wonderful.
I have to say, this is challenging paddling. Get away from all this. there nearly nearly there <laughs> wow I think that was one of the most challenging sections of coastline so far. Wow. <laughs> Oof. Oh, what a relief. And calm waters. <laughs> Bit of funny tide going on.
looking for somewhere to land. There's a, <laughs> there's a surfer there, which um, <laughs> indicates that it's a good break for surfing, but not a great place to be in a kayak. So I'm uh, going to give them a wide berth. I'm heading for a pier marked on the map, making the assumption that it's there because it's a good place to launch or land a boat. And hopefully I can get in there with my kayak without any damage. If I tried to land on the beach behind me, it would have been touch and go, I think. Big, big swell, and I was watching the breakers go in. I can see why they're sitting there. been a day of choices and judgment and risk assessment <laughs> drawing on my years of kayaking experience to read the water and to make decisions according to that certainly been kept on my toes all day today to linger around. But the slipway is looking okay from where I'm sitting. the last stop before Dunnett Head, the last possible place to really camp. And, uh, if I can't land here then I'm going to have to backtrack and go back into the bay and try and land on the beach.
see an old bloke trying to get out of the boat fast. made it safely. What a day. Phew. Phew. 